That's good. <clears throat> Rolled out the welcome wagon. Gotta say, I can't help but wonder if this is a lost cause. Well, you know, some lost causes are worth fighting for. Let's just think this through. So, I got an idea. Frontal assault, guns please. Make for a good story. Why'd we bring you along again? <sighs> Rear entrance. We'll get inside via the parking garage. Security's looking pretty tight. Huh. So they know what they're up against. Somehow, I don't think it's all for us. Could be for Avalanche. Or maybe even Wu-Tai. Can't be for Wu-Tai. What about the ceasefire? That only put the war on pause. We're here to rescue Aerith, remember? We don't need more attention than what we're gonna get. We need to be smart. Yeah, I hear you. But my soul's screaming for payback, you know? I'm a ticking time bomb. And sooner or later, I'm gonna have to blow up. Well, then make it later. truck, isn't it? Come on. Huh? Mm. How's it looking out there? Anything? Nah. All clear. Roger. Okay, head on in. <sighs> so far, so good. <laughs> from <laughs> give me a break <laughs> let's finish this to not get noticed. Stealth ain't my style. You never planned to be stealthy in the first place. Don't remember. Maybe, maybe not. Bring it! Should be a service entrance in the back. What's the situation? Can't get in contact with them. Get ready. Let's do this. Mind 
That it? Who's that? One way or another. Bless you. <laughs> You're mine. Nobody's home. Yeah. Do you have any idea where they might be holding Aerith? I'm thinking a research facility. that make the most sense. And where is that? Upper floors. Maybe near the top. That's where you are. Maybe. Maybe we can use the console at the reception desk to find out. This building's incredible. Huh. A shining monument to corporate greed. One of these days I'm gonna tear it down and burn the rubble. But not today. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, but I don't think we should try touching it. Shit, making life hard. Let's just keep heading up. So, how do we get upstairs? Either the elevator, or the emergency stairwell. Isn't the lab we're looking for on one of the top floors? I vote we take the elevator. Upstairs without a key card, huh? Think we're gonna need a few before this is over. Pretty sure I saw one lying around. Oh, the reception desk. Yeah, but how to get in? Go up and over, maybe? Look. Pretty sure we could reach it if we hop across those lights. I don't know. I think I'll give it a shot. Huh? 
As the lightest one here, I figure I've got the best chance. You two can sit back and watch. <clears throat> Okay, guys. Wish me luck. You be careful. Aren't I always? For sure. Hand over hand, huh? That's fine. Bring it on. So bad. Pretty close now. Just need to make it over there. Almost there. Just need to get across those platforms. Work. Uh, I might be able to disable security from here. Huh? <laughs> Hot damn, girl. <sighs> but I didn't do anything. Shit, I'll take it. So you can use that to look up what floor the research facility's on? I think so. Give me a sec. <sighs> Bingo. Professor Hojo's lab. 65th floor looks like. Huh. Guess we can only get to the 59th floor via the elevators or stairs. To access any level above that, 
We need to check in at the Skyview Hall reception. 59th floor it is then. Mm -hmm. Right. So what can we expect further up? <sighs> More security and restrictions. It's not gonna get any easier. <gasps> Tenth floor. <gasps> Doors opening. <gasps> Intruders! <laughs> 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 Maybe dial it back a little? Wasn't expecting that. Think anyone knows we're here? Nah, we took him down quick. Going up. Doors closing. Wonder if it'll stop again. People ought to try using the damn stairs sometime. If it happens again, we'll deal with it like before. We got this. Hmm. Well, that didn't take long, did it? 20th floor. Doors opening. <gasps> <gasps> The way to do it. Going up. Doors closing. Straight on up to the top now. Come on. We just keep getting waylaid, don't we? If you want to take the stairs. Now that you mention it. Floor. Heads up. Could be trouble. Right. Normal people work here, too. She probably called for help. Who's it gonna be next? Door open. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we're safe here. What about you, Mom? You okay? <sighs> Good. That's a relief. <sighs> what? <sighs> oh, they gotta be kidding. Going up. Door closing. No, we haven't heard anything new yet. But they told us that Avalanche could attack again at any time. Just get somewhere safe, okay? Yeah, about that. <sighs> A whole lot of normal people with families and friends work for Shinra. People just trying to support their loved ones as best they can. I know it's not exactly a revelation, but it's easy to forget. A good man who serves a great evil is not without sin. He must recognize and accept his complicity. He must open his eyes to the truth that his corporate masters are profiting from the planet's pain. Only then can he redeem himself. I know you know this. I do. Tifa, we need to focus on saving Aerith. 
I know. I will. 59th floor. Doors open. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. One hundred percent. One hundred ten. Mako supersaturation confirmed. <laughs> Engaging materia cooling to reduce temperature. <sighs> Madame Director, you have a meeting shortly. Stop. Your timing is impeccably atrocious. Uh, uh. Mako density and materia integrity are both holding steady. Registering mass increase in core materia. Uh, contaminants registered. <laughs> We're leaving. Materia growth accelerating, outpacing models. Registering crystallization within the reserve tanks. The reaction is out of control. We have to stop it quickly. Clean up the mess, would you? Ma'am. So this is the Skyview Hall, huh? Bet this place cost a fortune and then some. Let's look for reception. Hey, check it out. Come take a look, Cloud. to come here at night to take in the view. So pretty and marvelous and beautiful. But every little light burning bright runs off her blood. And bit by bit they bleed her, never stopping to think how it'll end for them. <sighs> yeah. Terrible but beautiful all the same. that will allow you to update the key card in your possession, thereby allowing you to access the next floor. And now begins your grand tour. Please enjoy the Shinra experience. Why has this whole thing got to be such a big pain in the ass? I don't know about you, but this is kind of weird. You think everything's going too well? Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? Ha! <laughs> if it is, then bring it on. Let's get this party started. Gotta get all these damn key cards just to get anywhere. This is Shinra HQ. The how did you expect? Says the former company man himself. Guess you'd know about all the rules, regulations, and red tape. It's like coming home, huh? Yes, every reactor, every pillar. Like I said, a full inspection. 
There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know. <sighs> Sorry to bother you, sir. No. It's fine. I've brought the damage assessment for Sector 7 you requested. Sir, perhaps hmm. you should try and get some sleep. No, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. <sighs> Whatever reasons they might have had, destroying an entire sector is... it's beyond the pale. Director, I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it. Shinra building, our humble home. Oh, hell no! Here, in the Memorial Museum, you can learn all about our president, as well as the various divisions that make up the company. And of course, the city of Midgar, and the miracle of Mako Energy. Whatever takes your fancy, you're sure to learn something new. Yeah, yeah, shut up! thinks very highly of himself. Hey everybody! How's the grand tour? I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. Wasn't it fun to learn about Shinra and our esteemed president? And to get a peek at the president's mementos? That was super cool! giving you a closer look at each of our divisions. I hope you're ready to be amazed, because you simply won't believe all the exciting adventures we have here. These all look so familiar. Because we've destroyed a bunch of them already. that are produced to benefit us all. Here at Shinra, we strive to ensure the safety of all residents around the clock.
Now moving along, the next exhibit will teach you all about the miracle of Mako energy and our reactors. As well as the city of Midgar itself. So come on! This is Midgar, our home. Recreated in one ten thousandth scale. As you can see here, the eight Mako reactors form a ring around the center of our city and keep Midgar running day and night. The Mako which flows beneath our feet is a truly limitless resource. At Shinra, we have developed technologies to extract it and transform it into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. Thanks to the miracle of Mako energy, our lives are richer and better than ever before. Mako keeps our lights on at night and made Midgar into the city that never sleeps. A triumph of technology and testament to man's potential. Nothing but a bunch of lies! Except that Mako has made people's lives better. It's made people blind. Blind to the cold hard truth. Even I used to bind to their bullshit. Remembering that makes me even madder. Congratulations! You can call yourself a proud Shinra scholar! Now, moving along, next you'll learn about our progress in advanced science and technology. Please proceed to the 61st floor, the Visual Entertainment Hall. Welcome to the Visual Entertainment Hall, where we showcase Shinra's cutting-edge technology. Through an immersive visual and audio experience, please relax and enjoy the show. This place is empty. Uh, what the hell? Uh, 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 In the distant past, our planet was home to a people we call the Ancients. Many millennia before we discovered Mako, these precursors were already pioneering its use. Somehow they learned of the great reservoir of energy pulsing beneath their feet. And once they had, the Ancients developed the means to harness this bountiful energy and bend it to their will. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. Their scripture too has endured. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. Alas, the ancients themselves are long gone. 2,000 years ago, a meteor brought an end to their civilization. But before their fiery end, did the ancients find their promised land? Even now, we have only to wonder. Times have changed, and the Shinra Electric Power Company is committed to changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we have harnessed the power of Mako. Are they out there watching us, waiting for us to join them in some blessed corner of the world? A green and verdant land where boundless Mako energy 
will provide for our every need. Shinra is working for you to fulfill the hope of the ancients and lead us to that promised land. We shall not rest until our dream is realized. Oh dear, a man of my refined tastes running out of butter. <laughs> Short of its proper accompaniment, this tea might as well be boiled pond water. <laughs> have been crazy ass thing made me want to puke and not just because of the presentation but the content too ought to come with a warning that ain't for kids that wasn't just a movie that huge meteor what was that about like I said nothing you should show a kid You can call yourself a proud Shinra expert! Your mission is to go out and tell everyone about the wonders of Shinra. Next, you'll be visiting the repository for Shinra's expertise and know-how. Please make your way to the 62nd floor, the corporate archive. What the? <sighs> Greetings and welcome, Avalanche, I presume. My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to meet you. I've come to escort you to Mayor Domino, per his request. The mayor of Midgar? The empty soup that's just a mouthpiece for Shinra? Yes. The mayor of our dear Midgar. The most magnificent city ever built, that Mayor Domino. The Visual Entertainment Hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late, and he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. So what does the mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. Guess we're supposed to follow. So what? You telling me the mayor's some kind of crazy bookworm? Come <laughs> 
Through here. If this is a trap, you're a dead man, you hear? This can't be right. Ah, wonderful. You finally made it. <gasps> I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Domino, at your service. <laughs> I must say you three haven't exactly been discreet. Huh? I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times, walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. Do you hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. <sighs> hmm. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world, tucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archives. The nerve. Those stupid Shinra pricks thought I'd just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. Huh. <laughs> well, this ought to make things easier. We need to break into Professor Hojo's lab. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the President's gonna get his, too, if I have anything to say about it. Mm. <sighs> well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing. So long as it hurts Shinra. Great! So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up. You telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian, nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports, that's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. They've made me a pathetic shell of a man. Uh, uh, okay, they did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. Hmm. Let me see that key card of yours. Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's mayor is nothing less! Uh... Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! Uh... Just say, Mayor, to the guy, and if he goes, the best, with gusto, then you found your man. You got it? If you require additional assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. So can you tell us anything about this collaborator? Certainly I could do just that, but a man in my position must conduct his affairs with discretion. Which is to say that that which has been requested cannot be freely given, if you take my meaning. You want money! Disclosing confidential information entails considerable risk. Due compensation is to be expected. 
In this particular instance, that would amount to 10,000 gil. Rip us off more, why don't you? The 64th floor is reserved for our executives. The individual you seek is fastidious and well-dressed. This individual likes to visit the 63rd floor to decompress from the stress of the job. That really all you got for us? Oh, are you dissatisfied with your purchase? How unfortunate. Perhaps this will help preserve our relationship. Huh? An expression of my gratitude and appreciation. Huh, that's better. I still can't believe the mayor is working with Avalanche. Would have been nice to know. Idiots at HQ should have kept us in the loop. About this precious promised land of yours. Come now, Aerith, you misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed so I can be left to pursue my great work. Our great work, my dear. You're the spitting image of her now. I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. What a terrible tragedy to lose the last of the pure-blooded ancients. Though not completely, would you like to see your mother? Albeit, through the lens of one of my microscopes. Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot in the gutter? We collected and cataloged every last bit of her. Hair, skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. As you, my dear, Ifalna was elegance right down to her cellular structure. <laughs> and there it is, that same elegance. Oh, yes, time for yet another meeting. Sit tight, I won't be long. 